Pakistan Navy's recently tested Smash ballistic missile represents a marginal capability enhancement that poses negligible strategic threat to India due to fundamental disparities in range, speed, technological sophistication, and operational deployment capabilities. Technical Specifications Analysis The Smash missile, internally designated P-282, possesses a maximum operational range of 350 kilometers. This anti-ship ballistic missile employs a quasi-ballistic trajectory, ascending rapidly to altitude before descending toward maritime targets at elevated terminal velocities. The system reaches speeds approaching Mach 2.5 and integrates advanced navigation systems, enabling mid-flight trajectory adjustments. Conversely, BrahMos variants deployed across Indian platforms demonstrate overwhelming superiority across every performance parameter. Current operational BrahMos missiles maintain ranges between 450 to 500 kilometers, with the air-launched BrahMos A variant already achieving 500-kilometer engagement distances from Su-30 MKI platforms. BrahMos operates at speeds ranging from Mach 2.8 to Mach 3, substantially exceeding smash velocity capabilities. The cruise missile employs inertial navigation combined with satellite guidance and active radar homing for terminal precision, delivering 200 to 300 kilogram conventional warheads with pinpoint accuracy. Range differential and strategic implications. The 150 kilometer range advantage BrahMos currently maintains over Smash translates into decisive tactical superiority in maritime engagement scenarios. Indian naval vessels and aircraft equipped with BrahMos possess the capability to engage Pakistani surface combatants while remaining outside Smash effective engagement zones. This standoff advantage eliminates reciprocal threat exposure, enabling Indian forces to execute strikes with operational impunity. Furthermore, India continues expanding BrahMos engagement ranges through systematic technological enhancements. Tests are currently underway for an 800-kilometer range BrahMos variant featuring modified ramjet engines and structural optimizations. This extended range configuration achieves enhanced performance through composite materials reducing airframe weight, more efficient solid propellant boosters, and fuel-optimized ramjet propulsion systems. The 800-kilometer variant approaches operational readiness with anticipated induction by late 2027 or early 2028. The BrahMos Extended Range variant will provide Indian platforms with engagement capabilities exceeding smash by 450 kilometers, more than doubling Pakistan's maximum strike range. Indian Air Force plans call for modifying 60 Su-30 MKI aircraft to deploy the 800-kilometer BrahMos variant, transforming these platforms into long-range strategic strike assets. The Indian Navy is simultaneously upgrading existing 450-kilometer BrahMos systems to 800-kilometer specifications through software modifications. Next Generation Developments India's BrahMos Next Generation program further widens the technological and operational gap. BrahMos NG reduces missile dimensions to 5 to 6 meters length and weight to approximately 1.3 to 1.5 tons, representing a 50% mass reduction compared to current configurations. This compact design enables light combat aircraft Tejas MK-1A to carry two missiles while Su-30 MKI platforms can deploy four BrahMos NG missiles simultaneously. Despite reduced dimensions, BrahMos NG maintains supersonic velocities of Mach 2.8 to Mach 3.5 with ranges between 290 to 450 kilometers. The system incorporates reduced radar cross-section design, indigenous active electronically scanned array seeker technology, and enhanced electronic counter-countermeasures capabilities. BrahMos NG remains compatible with air, land, ship, and submarine launch platforms, including torpedo tube deployment from conventional submarines. 
Technological Superiority Assessment Brahmos demonstrates fundamental technological advantages across propulsion, guidance, and operational versatility domains. The two-stage propulsion system employing solid-fuel boosters transitioning to liquid-fueled ramjet engines enables sustained supersonic flight throughout the engagement envelope. BrahMos follows sea skimming profiles or steep dive trajectories to penetrate layered air defense systems. The fire and forget architecture requires zero operator input post launch, enabling autonomous target prosecution. Smash relies on ballistic flight characteristics that render it more susceptible to interception compared to cruise missile profiles. While Pakistan claims advanced maneuverability, the missile's ballistic trajectory constrains evasive options relative to BrahMos sea skimming and terrain-following flight modes. BrahMos low radar signature combined with extreme velocity provides minimal defensive reaction windows, typically measured in seconds before impact. Multi-platform deployment advantage. India operates Bra. HMOs across comprehensive tri-service deployment architecture encompassing land-based mobile launchers, surface combatants, submarines, and multiple aircraft types. This universal platform integration enables coordinated strikes from dispersed vectors, overwhelming defensive systems through simultaneous multi-axis attacks. The Indian Navy has integrated BrahMos aboard frigates, destroyers, and indigenous platforms, while the Air Force deploys the system from Su-30 MKI fighters with ongoing integration on additional aircraft types. Pakistan's smash deployment remains limited to Zulfiqar-class frigates, with theoretical expansion to land-based launchers. The Pakistan Navy operates a modest surface fleet numbering substantially fewer vessels than India's maritime force structure. This limited deployment architecture constrains smash operational employment options and reduces salvo capacity compared to India's extensive BrahMos-equipped platforms distributed across theater operational zones. Defensive Countermeasures Indian defense planners have developed specific countermeasures addressing ballistic anti-ship missiles. The Prithvi Global Long Range Surface to Air Missile System under development is designed to intercept threats at extended ranges while achieving velocities approaching Mach 7. These capabilities enable engagement of ballistic missiles, including smash at safe distances, protecting Indian carrier battle groups and surface action groups. Multi layered air defense networks incorporating long range, medium range, and point defense systems provide redundant interception opportunities against incoming ballistic threats. BrahMos remains substantially more difficult to intercept due to its combination of extreme speed, low-altitude flight profiles, and terminal maneuvers. The missile's reduced radar cross-section and ability to execute steep terminal dives or unpredictable course changes complicates defensive fire control solutions. These characteristics explain why BrahMos demonstrated successful employment during Operation Sindor, striking 11 Pakistan Air Force bases in coordinated attacks that overwhelmed defensive responses. Operational Reality Assessment Pakistan's characterization of SMASH as a strategic capability enhancement appears exaggerated given the comprehensive superiority Indian missile systems maintain. Defense analysts express skepticism regarding Pakistan's limited expertise and operational history with advanced maritime weaponry, suggesting SMASH represents symbolic rather than substantive capability development. The 350-kilometer range places Pakistani frigates within engagement zones of multiple Indian anti-ship and land attack systems, possessing superior range and lethality parameters. The continuous expansion of BrahMos variants ensures India maintains decisive technological and operational advantages throughout foreseeable timelines. The imminent deployment of 800-kilometer range configurations and advanced BrahMos NG systems 
provides Indian forces with overwhelming strike capabilities that Pakistan cannot match through indigenous development or foreign procurement. This missile capability gap reinforces broader naval force disparities, where the Indian Navy fields substantially larger tonnage, more advanced platforms, and comprehensive sensor-shooter integration compared to Pakistan's constrained maritime forces.